It's Heritage Day in Alberta. And what does Heritage Day represent? The provincial government says it's about celebrating our diverse tapestry of cultures, languages and traditions. To see how Calgarians are marking the day, I first headed to Heritage Park. In 1883 to 1884, there was a major difference in what Calgary looked like. It was mainly a Métis settlement, then the, the railway rolled through and all of a sudden it was almost overnight from one census to the next. Um, you know, Europeans, people from Eastern Canada started to come out here. Heritage Park tells the story of Western Canada from the 1800s to the early 1900s. And today, the park understands the importance of also highlighting Indigenous history, recognizing that Indigenous people were on this land thousands of years before the time highlighted at the park. Chris Pagram is a member of a family dance troupe from Stony Nakoda and is a cultural educator. We're coming into a period now where we're finding that it, we're readily sharing our culture. People are identifying with it, they're embracing it, and more so they're realizing the importance of why our ancestors and our people now do what we do. We sing and dance for reasons. Our culture, it, it basically is, is, is a rhyme and a rhythm with the natural world. I've left Heritage Park and arrived at Olympic Plaza in downtown Calgary. A cultural festival is on, focusing on the diversity of Alberta today. The Maharlika Divas are hitting the stage today, showcasing dance from the Philippines. It's very important so, so we can connect to different communities, so they, they can, we can showcase our cultural heritage through dancing. The crowd at Olympic Plaza is filled with families and various dancers in traditional dancewear, reflecting the cultures that are part of Alberta today. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.